Hi everyone, so I've been trying to switch to using my Firefox browser instead of uh, Chrome or Safari uh, for most of my day-to-day -day work um, for kind of privacy reasons that Chrome is a Google thing and uh, whatever. There's loads of stuff you can read about uh, why people are switching to Firefox right now and trying to encourage its development. And I just completely accidentally happened across a feature of, it's not a feature of Firefox, it's a feature of an extension of Firefox that I had installed called Facebook Container. And what the Facebook Container does is it lets you contain all of your uh, Facebook activity in one, in like a separate set aside set of things. So if you, if I'm not inside my Facebook Container, then when I visit a website that has a Facebook button in, um, it can't track that back to my Facebook account. They probably actually can. They probably do some clever stuff with what are called shadow profiles and stuff. Um, but essentially, it's an attempt to try and keep separate um, activity that's on Facebook and activity that's not on Facebook so that Facebook don't track me everywhere that Facebook buttons or widgets or anything are used on the web. So the way this normally works is uh, if I open a new tab, and oops, that was how I found out that I had this thing installed. Um, and if I go to facebook.com, uh, then what you'll see is it's got a little blue underline on it, which means I'm now inside the Facebook container. And this works for messenger.com, which is a web-based version of Facebook Messenger. You'll see that's got a blue line underneath, so that's inside the Facebook container. And if I go to Instagram, Instagram.com, uh, I presume. Instagram is also owned by Facebook, so that also gets put on with a blue line and this little symbol here to show it's inside the Facebook container. Uh, so that's cool. And these are all like sandbox. They're all kept together, but separate from everything else that I do. And that's really neat. Uh, and what I found was that if I close all of my Facebook things, if I, I accidentally long pressed on this plus button, so I kept my mouse button down, I went, ooh, I've got these other containers that exist. And I wondered what these were, and it turns out that there is a generic um, Firefox multi-account containers extension, which I've now got installed. And you can turn this on, and then you can go and create a Facebook container in there, and you can assign all the Facebook URLs into that container. And that does the same thing as the Facebook container um, extension does. So the Facebook container extension gives you multi-account containers and then automatically configures it for use with Facebook. So what I'm going to do now, because it is a little bit complicated to get set up, I'm going to disable my Facebook container and I'm gonna, going to enable generic Firefox multi-account containers because this is a bit, it takes a bit longer to set up, but once it's set up, uh, it's a lot more flexible. It's given me a little button over here, multi-account containers, and it's given me some default containers to work with. Uh, I'm going to just edit these. I want my personal to be green for reasons I won't go into. Um, I want banking to be gold so I don't get it confused with green. I want work to be red. And I'm going to kind of add a container. Let's exit edit mode. And I'll add a container in a minute. So what we're going to do now is we're going to visit Facebook. Of course we are. We're going to visit Facebook. And uh, so I'm then going to go over here. Oh, well, the first thing I can do is I can right click on my tab and I can reopen it in one of the existing containers. Uh, and I can also click on here. And let's add a container here. This will be called Facebook. This will be blue. And there was a little suitcase icon. There we go. That's what we had before. So this is setting up what the Facebook containers extension sets up for you. I then want to, uh, this is showing me my current tab. And I want to say always open it in default. That's not quite what I want to do. I want to always open it in uh, the Facebook container. So I'm going to reopen this in the Facebook container. Close the one that's not, and you'll see this one's now got a blue line, so that's how I know which container I'm in. I can then close this, and then I can say always open in Facebook, and I can do that for Instagram.com too. 
oh, let's reopen it in Facebook and then always open it in Facebook close that one and just to test this if I now so I I can hot long press on here and I can go to my Facebook container get a new tab in my Facebook container but now it should know if I type facebook.com now first time I do this it says do you want to open this in your Facebook container and do you want to do this every time you visit this website so yeah we'll do that that now automatically does that every time I open that and the same for Instagram remember that open in Facebook container let's close some of these down and then same for messenger.com let's uh, well the other way we can do this is we can just open a Facebook tab in my Facebook container and then messenger.com and remind me how I did it always open in Facebook cool close that reopen it say remember and always open in the Facebook container cool so that's kind of that's what the Facebook container thing does uh, so that's great and now um, I won't log in because you'll see all sorts of stuff that's private and personal um, but hopefully you get the idea what I can then do is I can then uh, so I'm probably logged in to some Google account here for work and what's great is that I can then log into my own personal Gmail account here um, and then I can have tabs open for two different Gmail accounts and Chrome lets you do this sort of it lets you have little identities that you can switch between but they tend to be open in different windows not in different tabs next door to each other um, so this is super cool um, I really like it and hopefully I've shown you there how it works uh, the important things really are that uh, there's no documentation on the add-ons that seems to explain this always open in bit uh, I was expecting I was expecting when I edit a container to have a list oh it tells me which sites were assigned but it doesn't let me add sites to it this is interesting so I can't add an assigned site in here I was expecting a plus button here which would let me assign a site to a container you have to actually do that from the extension always open it and then go through that extra step of uh, telling it to open it in that tab every time so yeah it's really cool uh, hopefully that tool has been useful uh, do with it what you will